Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. My guest today is Michael Wasser of Raveled. Welcome. Hi. So let's talk a bit about Raveled. Sure, so uh, Raveled unravels cloud costs for cloud computing users with the hope that through better understanding, IT organizations can keep costs under control. All right, and what was the motivation for you to build this? Yeah, so I, w I was consulting for a little while, and uh, while I was consulting, I started coming across organizations that were spending way beyond their budget. Uh, we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. And they didn't really have the tools they needed to better understand where their costs were coming from and analyze the way different parts of their organizations were spending. Uh, so I, I sort of started doing this as a one-off, like developing on the weekends, uh, trying to make a tool that would better help them understand where their costs are coming from so that they can then lower their costs in turn. So if I'm a developer, I can actually see these costs, assuming we have all yep. the raw data entered, and I can say, well, it costs me this, this number of microcents, millisecond, millisecond, whatever, yep. to serve up this page. Is that actually a worthwhile investment, or am I getting that much value back from yeah. serving up that page? Yeah, and they can start set doing these what-if scenarios. Well, what if we made this change? How much will we save? Is that a worthwhile endeavor? Sort of so maybe I need to do to. some more database queries, raising the cost, but yep. I get better, better conversion from the page. Yep, yeah, say. or better, better cost performance in general. So. Okay. Yep. Now, what technology is Raveled built on? So Raveled is entirely on AWS today. Um, we use just instances, spot instances. There's a... Uh, elastic load balancer in front of two front end servers and two back end servers, and the entire entire setup runs for less than three hundred dollars a month. The spot instances are actually hosting your your front end and your yeah. back end. Yeah, so there there's uh, two on demand reserved instances and two spot instances. There's uh, one front end on demand and one front end spot, and one back end reserved instance and one back end spot. So this way, we almost see. Um, Spot instance, there's spot pricing going above and the instance getting taken away as the same as downtime of a server. And we can handle it because there's two of them. So you actually applied some of your own cost measurement and optimization yep. methodology to your own yep. business. Yep. What do you think of AWS as far as the ability for you to have a lot of control over your infrastructure? Yeah, so you know, I really think that without AWS, we would not have been able to do this with such a shoestring budget. Uh, you know, the, the thought of having the same kind of redundancy, having multiple machines and multiple data centers, uh, deploying some kind of load balancing solution, all these things would cost a lot and it would take a lot of time, whereas uh, this type of setup could really be de deployed in, in days. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have an admin that's setting all these things up for you? No, no, it's uh, actually, uh, most of the efforts to date have been just me. Uh, it's been... Um, me doing operations development, marketing, sales, every, every general thing that needs to be done right. to run the business. Uh, and I can do it all because things like AWS so make you have it really, cloud really leverage, easy to do. leverage, basically. Yep, yep. One person running the entire business, serious level of professional infrastructure, mm -hmm. you've got yep. it all under control. Yep. Excellent. All right, well, thanks for coming to visit us today. Really enjoyed speaking with yeah, you. Yeah, had a good time. Thanks for bringing me. My pleasure. This has been the AWS Report, and I'm Jeff Barr.